Alright, hey guys, my name is Dewey Jones. I'm a Colorado off-roader and I film trail guides that show off Colorado but also have unique off-road action. However, this is going to be a short trail guide. We're going to come back with our Cherokees, Renegades and all that. But I just want to do T33. I had some time off. Zach's out with me. We were going to be testing his uh, new Cherokee XJ. But we're just, uh, we're just going to go film T33. So let's just get at it. I'm going to show you what it is. Hopefully get some good video. Now, as I said in that intro, I'm going to keep this one short, especially since the entire crew wants to come back and do this one together. However, in this video, I'll show you the complete trail with emphasis on the notable parts of the trail. I'll also use my stock Wrangler to determine difficulty and I'll provide specific feedback for Cherokees, Renegades, and Forerunners. I might even have some photos of a Renegade on this trail. Now, if I don't provide specific feedback for your vehicle, the video with my stock Wrangler should be helpful. Anyway, let's look at the specs of my Jeep as these might be insightful and it'll also demonstrate my notable wheeling prowess. We know there are so many great off-road videos and channels on YouTube and we really appreciate you for watching ours. We started this year off with 43 subs and it is absolutely unbelievable at where we're at now. However, our goal will always be to remain to make the best trail videos that we can as we know your time is valuable. I also realize I still have a lot to learn about this video making process so if you see something that needs to be fixed or approved upon in these videos, let me know down in the comments. Also, we just absolutely love hearing from you, so say hi in the comments, tell us what you wheel. If you have any wheeling videos on your channel, we'd love to check them out, and I might even give you a shout out in a future video. Speaking of the comments, let's talk about airing down. Now airing down is generally safer and because of that we as a group recommend that you should air down when off-roading. Also most of the off-roaders in the videos are aired down. That is besides me. Okay let's get into this. So I've been off-roading for over 20 years and I definitely don't know it all when it comes to off-roading. However I am well versed on the benefits and disadvantages of airing down. I always have a compressor and deflators in my grip and I definitely bring them every time I go off-roading. So I have the means, why don't I air down? Well I've been doing this Jeep thing for a while and I love a good challenge. I mean my Wrangler is 9 years old and it's still stock. So I do these guides aired up because I have more fun and I think I get better videos sometimes. Like in this one, I'm sliding around on one of the obstacles and a dirt cloud forms and I think it just looks awesome. If I didn't struggle there, it would have been just another Wrangler walking up an obstacle. Now I'm still a novice when it comes to this video making stuff so I need the best footage I can to make something that hopefully is worthwhile for you to watch. That's simply the reason why I don't air down. Some people told me I was too rough on Toyota in that last video. Guessing I didn't do a good enough job of making it clear that was just a joke aimed at my buddy Cotton. Anyway, we have 13 videos filmed including an all Toyota trail guide coming up. Now, before the end of 2020, we have two more coming up. Cliffhanger 2.0 and a walk around of Sean's Cherokee Trailhawk. I think you guys are really going to like these videos. Anyway, we have a fun obstacle coming up where I'm going to try to take the biggest, the hardest line I can to hopefully get you guys some good footage on it. So here we go. Alright, yes, I could have benefited from being aired down on this trail. Let's just, uh, let's move on. Man, I wish I got a good front shot of that one. Since our goal is to make trail videos that you can use for your own trail planning, we want to provide you with good, accurate trail information. So let's start talking about the trail. Now T33 is a local's favorite, but it has a tragic backstory. On June 27, 1965, Major Jay Curry and Lieutenant Donald Darby lost their lives when their Lockheed T33 jet aircraft 
veered off course and crashed into the mountainside. This trail is made to get to the wreckage and we'll take a look at the crash at the end of this video. So let's take some time to talk about what you need to reach the end of the trail. Funtrex calls the trail difficult and recommends 35 inch tires, a short wheelbase, and a rear locker. Trails Off-Road also gives it a difficult rating with a numerical value of 5. I personally would bump that up to a 5.5 or a low 6 using their rating system. Now we'll get into some specific vehicle information starting with what I drive, a Wrangler. I was able to do the trail with a stock Wrangler on 32s and I did not use my lockers. However, bigger tires and lockers would have made this really easy, but personally that's not my style. My recs are that you have skid plates, rock rails, and I would not go alone. Now for Renegades. Davin did this when his Renegade Trailhawk was still stock. However, that was a while ago and the trail has likely gotten harder due to heavy rental use. I still think this would be no problem for our Renegade drivers, but I personally would recommend a lift, rock rails, skids, and a willingness to take on some damage if you take the wrong line. Now for Cherokee Trailhawks, based on what we've seen on trails like Will or Lake, the KL should have no problem on this trail. Still, I'd have rock rails for sure, and a little lift may help the approach angle. I think we'll come back and see how they do. Alright, for the Toyotas. Now, if you are my buddy Cotton, I think this trail is just too tough for your Toyota. However, for the rest of you who own Toyotas, this trail is perfect for you and you'll have a great time. Now, I talked to my buddy Jason who runs the Oxfoot YouTube channel, and he told me he thinks 4Runners and off-road Toyotas would have no problem. But he does recommend rock rails and maybe a small lift. I would also agree with that. Anyway, we are approaching the end of the trail, so let's park and check out the wreckage. All right, guys, we've made it to the plane crash uh, site or plane crash parking. We're going to go explore. We're going to go down there. Now, people did die doing this, so um, we are going to be respectful as we uh, go down and see the wreckage. I'm just glad people haven't like stolen it. Is this what you read? Yeah, because you can see like the supports here. Here's like the part of it at least. I'm sure it's on YouTube or something. Yeah, I'm sure it's been. That's crazy. I mean, it's literally just a break. Like, looks like one out of your yeah. the caliper and everything. All right, thank you so much for watching this video. Now, I know it was a little bit different than my normal trail guides. But we'll get back out here with a whole bunch of different vehicles and we will do a full trail guide on T33. But if you want to see more of Zach. Howdy YouTubers, we got about two minutes up the trail and the Jeep started raising in temperature to a point where I don't think I want to go on anymore. For some reason, the radiator is not holding coolant and it's forcing it through the overflow all into my coolant catch can. Half the fluid, I'd say, spilled out of the overflow here. So we're not going to push it. I'm going to go home, wrench on it for a couple days, and see what we can get done.